Today I'm going to show you how you can use a staircase to move between different metric units. First, let's review those basic metric units. There are three units of measure. Mass measures in grams, length is measured in meters, and capacity is measured in liters. The beauty of the metric system is that it's all based on 10. Each unit is 10 away from the next, and each of the units use the, these same rules. It's very different from US customary, which uses no pattern of conversion, and all of that has to be memorized. OK, this is just funny, so enjoy. We used a mnemonic device when we studied the states that surround Virginia, Mary will kiss 10 noses for Maryland, West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, and North Carolina. And like the mnemonic device we use to memorize the states that surround Virginia, we're going to memorize one for the metric units. In this case, it's going to be King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. Would you go ahead and copy that down? In this case, King stands for kilo, Henry stands for hecto, died stands for deca, Unexpectedly stands for the unit of measure, and I'll explain that again in, in a moment. Drinking stands for desa, chocolate stands for centa, and milk stands for milla. Please copy these seven stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll wait while you do that. Now, let's put these letters inside. The first one is K, H, D, U, D, C, M. I'll wait for you to do that as well. In this case, units stands for meters liters and grams. So those are the words that will always go right there with the units. Any one of those three could go right here in the units box. Now let's look at a problem. For example, 42 meters is equal to how many millimeters? To do this, we're going to start on the meters step, which is right here because it's the unit. And in this case, it's going to go down to the millimeter. So it goes down one, two, three spaces and lands on the meter step. Now, what does all that mean? It means that you're going to move your decimal, which is hidden right here, because even though we don't see it, there's one right there. And you're going to move it one, two, three spaces to the right because the stairs are moving to the right. Let's take a look at this. The answer here would be four, two, and then we said we moved it three spaces. One, two, three. So the new answer is 42 meters is equal to 42,000 millimeters. Let's try another one. Six and three tenths of a liter is equal to how many centiliters? Again, since we're starting in liters, we're going to start on the unit stair. And in this case, we'll also be going down one, two stairs to land on the centa. And since the base unit is in liters, that's the centiliter stair, which means we just moved one, two spaces to the right. Here's our decimal, one, two spaces. So our answer is going to be six and 30 centiliters, 630 centiliters. It also works the other way. For example, I don't have to start on the unit uh, stair. I can start on a different stair. Here, we're going to start on the decagram stair and move to the hectogram stair. Let's take a look at that. If we start on the decagram, in this case, we're going to move up one, two stairs, and we moved two stairs to the left. So where's the decimal in 16? It's right here, which means that I'm going to rewrite my number 
moving the decimal two spaces to the left. In this case, it would be 16 hundredths of a hectogram. I'm going to give you one right now, and I'd like you to try it on your own. Something I didn't say before, but I want to make sure you notice that deca and desa both have Ds, but deca actually is shown as DA, and desa is shown as just a D. So again, that's right here is deca, and down here is desa. So be sure and keep that in mind when you do your work. Let's try 127, well, since I use deca, deca grams equals how many milligrams? Go ahead and hit pause and try and solve that yourself. Did you start here on the decagram stair? And now we have to go all the way down to milligram, so we're going to move this way. And how many spaces are we moving? Let's double check. If I start on deca and I move one, two, three, four stairs down, I mean, I'm going to land on here. Which direction did I move? Well, I moved to the right, which means I'm going to move my decimal four places to the right. Now, in this case, I'm going to have to I'm going to go ahead and write it above the line because I know the number is going to be much larger. So now I need to move it. Here's our invisible decimal: one, two, three four places to the right, and I'm going to put my commas in where they go. So the answer to 127 decagrams, it's equal to 1,270,000 milligrams. Did you get that right? This is the last one that I'm going to give you with my stairs on here, so the next time you'll have to draw the stairs yourself. Just as a quick reminder, there are seven stairs, and all you have to do is put down that King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. Every time I solve one of these problems, I do draw this quickly up in the corner, and as I need them, I fill it in with our um, mnemonic device. But let's use this one again anyway. All right, let's try one more. I have... And we're going to do decimeters. Make sure you're using the right D into kilometers, and then ask yourself where you're going to start, which direction you're going to move, and how many jumps you're going to make. Go ahead and solve that yourself. Did you start here for decimeter? And in this case, I can see that kilometer is up here, so I'm going to move one, two, three, four stairs to the left. So my, here's my decimal. Oh my gosh, that number's going to get smaller and smaller. I'm going to have to move it four places to the left. My gosh, I'll have to write the number down here. One, two, three, four, and then there's three more zeros, and then 27. Is that what you got? Good job. Let's try another one. I'll try three thousandths of a hectogram. And how many grams would that be? Well, the first thing I have to do is draw that stair. And I said there are seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's label. We have King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. So where am I going to start? We're going to start on, well, you do it. You solve it, and then I'll tell you what I would have done. Did you start here? And then we're going to move down to the unit. Gram is a unit, so maybe it was hard to find it on the stairs. But since it's a unit of measure, we're going to move down here. We're going to move how many spaces? We went from one, two spaces to the right. So here's my decimal, one, two spaces to the right. So three thousandths of a hectogram is equal to three grams. How'd you do? Okay, go ahead and turn your notebook paper sideways, horizontally, and copy these four problems on the page. Please remember to put your name either in the center or at the top of the page. I'm just going to point out a couple things here because it's not super clear. This is an L for liters, so this is liters and kiloliters. And this has a DG and a DAG, so be careful when you're copying these down and make sure you're paying attention to them. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.